talk to us about the Aleppo River Water Trust. I also didn't get a chance to prepare anything for tonight because I found out about this last night. I had work all day and I had a board meeting at lunch. So um, I also have only five minutes left. So I thought I would give you, uh, <laughs> how many have seen the 15 minute Shakespeare? There's a play that someone put together that's got oh, yeah, yeah, all the all work of Shakespeare in 15 minutes. It's wonderful. <laughs> so I'm going to give you the five minute Black Hall River Water Trail. <clears throat> Starts at Highway 82 at a place called Shabadi. Uh, put in north of that, uh, gets too shallow in the summertime, it's full of trees and lakes. Go south, first place to come to is um, Square Town Church and um, Heather's property. Then you keep going down the river, winds through the trees, you get uh, Tupelo, Cypress in the water. Very beautiful in the springtime, lush and tropical in the summertime. You see uh, a lot of different bird species. Going down to uh, 135, um, where it crosses south of the Coochie, and there's a foot in there, boat ramp. Keep going down the river, very windy in the next uh, probably 15 miles, it's very meanderous. You get these hairpin turns that go over the Navy Threes. You can see uh, uh, pines and, and oaks in the high banks. You see a lot of Tupelo and Cypress along the water edges and the Harbor Forest Plains. Keep going down and you get to uh, Berrien Beach, which is Highway 168. There's a nice boat ramp there. Uh, Berrien Beach has historic value. It's got a uh, uh, history of being a, a recreation spot for the folks of Nashville, Georgia in the summertime. It's 40 to 50 years ago. The used to do it a lot in the summer and picnic and swim. Keep going down the river. Long stretch, uh, no uh, easy access. Um, again, windy in the summer, the, a lot of sandbars, uh, beautiful tannic waters, tea stain. And then you get to uh, uh, Lakeland. Just on 122. There's a uh, actual spot for camping there. That's an official camping site that was donated by uh, um, Mrs. Ropemore and her husband. It's called Packard Camp. Um, and you can keep going down. And there's a Boy Scout camp called Camp Patton, and actually a solar farm and an old church called Burnt Church, which is really interesting historically. There's a Civil War um, a soldiers buried in the cemetery there across the, the church. Keep going down, start getting into some areas with some shoals. Um, get these little rocky shoals where the water is about one and a half feet deep at the Stateville uh, uh, water gauge. Uh, get down to Mayday, Stateville. When you get into Florida, across the Florida line, you can go upstream on the Suanacoochee River and see a, a, a eight foot waterfall when the water is low. It's very tropical uh, and sometimes it's beautiful. It's, it's shady, it's like in the jungle. Keep going down and you come to the Alpaha Sink, which is a hole in the river and karst with the whole water. The whole river actually goes into the ground. We've been there in the fall, great time to see this usually in November when the water is drying up. Very impressive. There's uh, Dennis Price has shown us some, some fossilized oyster beds just south of there where the Dead River uh, cuts off, which is a reverse tributary to the Alpaha River. It's a long, windy channel, about a quarter of a mile long, and it goes into a giant sinkhole. It's very impressive. And then if you keep going down, you get to Jennings Bluff, um, which is a, an area where there's actually a pretty high bluff along the river. And then from there to the Swanee River is a, a section that's sort of uh, vernal. You have to go in the, in the spring and winter when the water's really high because it dries up in the summertime. Um, you take about 18 miles. And uh, that's the, uh, that's the uh, trailer in a nutshell. We're looking for kiosks and signage. That's what we need to complete uh, for the project. We've got a wonderful map that John uh, is going to get to me before I start my talk. I forgot to stop and get it. Uh, he'll pass it around. He's got some beautiful pictures of the, uh, the different scenes along the way and some of the trail etiquette. He's got mileage that tells you how far it is between the different footing points and how long it would take an average paddler at certain water levels. And uh, we're really trying to uh, uh, get local um, organizations and governments to become invested in the projects so and they help um, fund part of the construction of these kiosks and um, the signage for their boat ramps and access points. So if you have connections with any of the communities along the way or any of the boat ramps you see listed on the, uh, the trail, uh, deal with us and we'll help work with these and try to get these done. Wallace has also put together a, a, a water trail on the little uh, Whippapoochee rivers, which goes down the Swanee River as well. 
and uh, I'm not quite as familiar with that. Uh, I've done the whole I did that one earlier. Program. But you can put in a plug for the big little work with Alvarez. And yes, uh, this coming uh, uh, April 29th, there's going to be a fundraiser for the Walls Watershed Coalition. It's a uh, three mile, three and a half mile travel <coughs> on the Little River from Red Robert standing above the Reading River State Park. That was the Reading Park Lake. It's a great uh, fun morning activity for individuals and families. We've had folks from as far away as Germany and New York to participate. Um, we've had toddlers as young as about eight and about as old as about 80 uh, make it and survive and have a good time. And it uh, doesn't take uh, much paddling because there's usually a current that's downstream and if you want to come out and join us, we'd love to, love to have you. Limited to 50 boats and it's Saturday, April 29th. And there's a $50 prize for the first place winner. $50 prize for the first place winner. Is it 50 this year? 50. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just write the check to me. We still have room. Any questions about through?